What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and have you guys missed all the new info on Destiny with the game Informer Rise of Iron issue I don't know where the fuck you have been but damn there is a lot of shit to cover now over the next few days I will try and cover it all with multiple videos and if you have missed a lot of the news there are some real interesting things to come and I guarantee you it will get you on board that hype train if you're not on it already so first off we're going to start off with the new armor sets which we saw within the Game Informers article First off we have the new raid armor, now there was a little info on the raid which I will cover in a video to come so stay tuned but here on screen now you can see the new Wraith of the Machine armor. Wraith of the Machine is the raid's new name by the way if you did not know. Now this armor we have seen in a few trailers but it was unconfirmed if it was in fact raid armor or not, well it is and it kind of looks sexual. It's interesting to add though as well that all year 2 gear you will be able to infuse as soon as you start playing the Rise of Iron. So basically any armor you have now at this current moment in time, you can infuse new gear which drops after the Rise of Iron's release into that current armor you have now, which is a plus. So not only will we get all the new armor sets which come with the Rise of Iron, we'll also be able to rock our current armor, which is basically an incentive to get that armor right now. So if you're missing certain Dead Orbit armors and you want to rock that full Dead Orbit armor, which is available in game now, when the Rise of Iron comes out, I suggest you get grinding because there will be new faction armors with the Rise of Iron and I don't think you'll be able to go back and get the ones that are available in game now. So it is a kind of incentive to grind the game now. Now moving on to the new Trials gear, which by the way again I am loving the design of. That new Titan gear looks fucking incredible. Now take a look at the Iron Lords gear, seen on the cover poster of the Game Informer's new article. This again has been seen throughout the trailers if you have looked hard enough, but they've done an even better job of making it look sexual on the cover. Now we do know how this actual gear is obtained. The new Iron Lords armor is acquired through a new Rise of Iron record book. This embedded progression tracker echoes what Bungie basically did with the Sparrow Racing League event and the Year 2 Moments of Triumph book. Basically every possible activity in the Rise of Iron helps contribute progress towards this book. At certain completion points to this new Rise of Iron booklet you acquire rewards including the full Iron Lords armor set multiple emblems, a new shader, as well as the Iron Song, Gold Shell, and much, much more. Great thing about this book is though, it's account based. So if you decided to switch characters, say from your Titan to a Warlock, and you complete a part of the booklet on your Warlock, you will also unlock that corresponding item for both your Titan and your Hunter, so to speak. With everything else which will be going on when the Rise of Iron drops, I love the idea of a booklet to keep track of all of this shit. And the point that one unlock unlocks all is a great addition too, as you won't miss certain items on certain characters. But guys, that is it for the video. That's basically the armor sets and what we learned from this Gaming Form article. If you enjoyed the video, do smash that like button and stay tuned for plenty of more videos on the new info that came out today. As always, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in